The following is a quick demo on how to use SOAP UI to query or perform functions against a ServiceNow uh, web service. The first step is to consume the WSDL and to create a project in SOAP UI. To do this, you simply click the Create Project button and type in your project name. And then you insert the uh, URL to the WSDL. And I will use the WSDL for the incident table. It's just incident.do question mark WSDL. And I'll click OK. Now you may have to use, uh, some WSDLs are protected with basic authentication. That's just a setting on the instance. Mine is, so I'll just go ahead and log in as this user. Click OK. Once it loads the WSDL, the available functions on the incident table will be shown here. And since this is a direct web service to a ServiceNow table, all ServiceNow tables have these same functions. Let's do the get uh, keys function. This will return us, uh, it'll take in a query um, of parameters and return us the sysids of incident records that match that query. So we go to request and we double click that and it will generate a request for us, a request, request template. And we'll say we want all inactive incidents. We'll set active is to zero. And we don't need most of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, delete most of these options here. And I'll, I'm going to delete the rest of the, the fields here. Okay. Now, before I can submit this, let's expand this. Now there is going, my screen size is pretty small, but there is an authentication button. Since my screen size is so small, it just shows up as dot, dot, dot on the bottom left. But I'm going to click that. And um, I'm going to choose preemptive as my authorization type. And then I need to use my username and password that will have the rights to perform this action. Once I have entered in my credentials, I can hit this play button. And when I get a response, there are six records that are inactive and that have a priority of two. And those are the sys IDs to those records. Now, if I wanted to do other functions, get records will return the full record in XML format, a record dump um, of records that meet the search criteria. Insert will allow me to create a new incident record. Update will require a sysid, and I provide the sysid and any values for the fields, and it will update that record with those field values. Get will return one record in XML format. And then delete record and delete multiple will take will delete records uh, based on queries or based on a sysid.